in the previous video i discussed how to create an account for applying for this scholarship now in this video i'm going to show you how to actually apply for the scholarship so in the previous video all what i did is i searched for the scholarship application portal that's the website and i also showed the important information that you have to put in you know things that you have to do i even give some um, tips on when applying what you have to do and things like that so now in this video i've also done the same thing that i did in the previous video i did a screen recording on my phone and i showed these things so in this video too it's all the same i am also i have actually done a screen recording so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to apply step by step so let's get to it so just like in the previous video i kept the screen recording here so in this video too, the same thing you're going to see the screen recording very soon so i'm now starting guys so okay so now yeah after you are done with filling in all the information you come to the home page this is what you see you select bachelor's and then we are applying for the undergraduate scholarship program so you click on apply there and then you accept so when you click on i accept then you are brought to this page so you can see application conditions written are the first things actually all these things are things that you have to fill so we are starting with the application conditions as you've seen so now you scroll down to see what's under the application conditions so they've written all the conditions that you have to you know follow on all the things that you have to do whether it's your age or all these things even required documents i've actually done videos on these things required documents criteria and things so you can watch those videos if you want you can also see all these things to here if you want you can pause them individually and see them so photograph there are also some optional documents as i said they are not um obligatory for you to bring but they are optional i mean if you are taking a course that needs english for example like if it's a course in english for example obviously you need to provide the TOEFL results or the IELTS if it's a course requiring SATs you need to provide the SATs results all these things so make sure that you read all these requirements before you even start going to the other steps so that's why they are just pre-informing you so that you get a grasp or you get some information or you know what you are going to be having in front of you so after you are done reading all these things, then you just come and click on I have read and accepted all the conditions. So when you click on that, then you just save it. So when you click on the save, you are then brought back to the place that you started from, which is this place. Yes. So we've come to the preferences now. So we are the preferences. We've already gotten there. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked there again, but we are the preferences. So you now scroll down again. So when you scroll down, you can see that they are saying you have 12 universities and departments to choose from at most. So it's not by force to actually choose 12 of them, but at most you have 12. So you just click on add. When you click on add, then you see all the options that you have, all the courses that are available. So when you click on each course, there are actually a list of universities that you can choose from. Universities, faculties, and all those things. So you choose the university and faculty that you want and then you are good to go so you come back to this place again after choosing and then you see that that's already been recorded so that's it that's my first choice so now if you want more you just click on add so when you click on add then you are brought to this place again so as you can see i've been brought here now i've chosen another one in actuarial science so you can see my second choice is there ankara university um all those things so now let's say i want to get a third one i click on add again so after clicking on add this page then appears again so yes as you can see it has appeared i'm choosing anthropology now what universities are available i clicked on Istanbul university now we are moving back to the place again so we've come to this place um I'm, i done choosing the three ones the first three ones so <laughs> i think i chose a fourth one again so i clicked on the add so you can choose as many as you want if but the maximum you can choose are four and sorry the maximum you can choose is 12 so i decided to just choose four for this video so that's what i've chosen i've chosen my fourth one i clicked on save so after clicking on save then i'm brought back here so now actually as you can see on the first close the first one you can see that red dot so that's my first choice you can see your first choice is written there so i mean that's my first choice that's why you saw you can see the red dots there with that exclamation mark inside so after doing all these things you just 
click on that approve button i hereby agree to the place i hereby agree to be placed in a different program that's than what i have chosen so they are saying that they can choose you in another they can put you in another department or program again so yeah that's it so now i've already agreed so we've been brought to this place again now the next thing is what letter of intent so we also move down there to see what the letter of intent has for us so in this writing they've stated what they're expecting from you in your letter of intent so you have to also read all these things carefully so that you can give them whatever they want from you so i've read all of them blah 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 <laughs> now i've come to the place where you actually type in your letter of intent so me that's my letter of intent i hope to get a scholarship so after that you also come to this section you put in anything whether it's a problem that you faced or something like that if you don't have you just tell them you don't have then you come back up and you just save this um you know information you've kept now we are done now we move to interview location so you have the option to choose where you want your interview to go on at so when you are done you just save it now we come to the next thing which is the reference information so they want to get someone who they can speak to so that they'll get to know more about you in case they want to find out more about you they can call that person they can email the person so make sure you put someone who has high value in your community whether it's your headmaster or something like that that would be good for you so yeah when you're done putting all his information and everything you just approve all those things down there and you just save so after saving then we are brought to this page again um scholarship program so actually there are some other scholarship programs attached to this main scholarship program so this is the merit scholarship program so in case you want to benefit from this merit scholarship program too you can also benefit um so you can see there are some requirements so you must first pass these requirements all of them before you can even um, be um, approved for this scholarship so make sure that you have all these requirements before you apply um, with this joint scholarship but if you don't have these requirements just don't apply just click on no so when we go up um when we go down there you see that there are some yes and no sections so if you are not interested or you don't have the requirement just click on no so there's also the islamic um development bank um, actually this is also a joint a joint scholarship program too and they actually give more money and stuff but the thing is that you have to pay 50 percent back after you are done like when you start working you start paying 50 percent back again so um if you want you can choose that one this also the nama is actually for some countries it wasn't for ghana so i don't know much about it but if you are in those countries you can also choose yes but for me it's no 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 for everything i'll just go with a normal turkey scholarship so that's what i've done now i click on save so after clicking on save we are brought back to oh we are brought to the summary of the application wow so we are already done so in the summary of the application you just see all your information they will show you everything that you've kept so if you want to make changes to anything just make sure that you make it before you you know approve your whole application so just show, make sure that you go through all these things family information everything make sure everything is correct because if there's a mistake or they see some inconsistency they're actually going to reject your application so what i'm saying is that whenever you are given this opportunity of going through in fact they always give this opportunity so when they give it to you just make sure you go through them very well with scrutiny and make sure that you correct everything so when you are done you just approve click on that then um, tick thing i've already clicked that's why the tick is there and then you click on submit but for me i'm not clicking submit because you know this is a dummy account that i created so we are finally done with this thing yeah i know the application process was a long one but i mean it's for your own good in fact i did it in a shorter period of time for you you are going to even take more time yeah i remember it even took us like an hour or more just applying but it's all good i mean it's for our own sake after all we are the ones going to benefit from the scholarship so i hope you all a good application and i hope you guys get accepted for the scholarship if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i am always ready to answer your questions and um, so many of you have been asking so that's what gives me some video ideas in fact so even for this video i was in inspired by you guys so thank you very much for your ideas too and i hope to receive your questions so that i can answer them and see all of you in turkey god willing for those who are interested in coming um good luck once again with your application if you want more information you can check my other videos 
if i've still not provided that information you can tell me by commenting see you in turkey god willing and see you in another video too goodbye for now